Hello, my name is Santiago Moreno and welcome to 6.1, Exploring Accumulation of Change. Today we're going to be talking about accumulation of, accumulation of change, sorry, and what that means in calculus, trying to like kind of introduce the idea of antiderivatives and integrals and things like that. To understand what that is, we need to understand the accumulation of change and what that is. So before that, we do need to see what accumulation of change is, all right? So first we need to understand kind of what it is, which is just the area under a curve. The region between a function and the x-axis is called the area under the curve. Kind of what, what you're using for integrals and antiderivatives, but we'll learn that later on. Um, and it means the area under the curve, which is the area between the x-axis and the function. The under the curve, which is between the x-axis and the function, does not necessarily mean below the function. So let's see, for number one, for number one, um, we see that the function is here, and we see that the x-axis is here. So in this instant, it would be here, below the function to the x axis. So right here would be all of this. That is the area beneath the curve. Now, in, this, in our second example, we need to see from the x-axis to the function. In this case, the area under curve is above the function, actually. It would be right above the function, all the way to the x-axis, and all of this. This is all the area under the curve. Just between the function and the x-axis, because that's what you're actually using to measure it. And for the third example, we can see that this is actually kind of a combination of the first two. It's here, it's underneath the curve, it's under, you know, kind of technically under, or over, I guess you could say over the function. But here goes, it switches to under the function, right before going back down and switching to under the function, or over the function, sorry. So we can see here that the function under the curve doesn't necessarily mean underneath the function. It can mean over, it can mean both, or it could just simply be under the function. But it, but it is always between the x-axis and the function. So this area the curve the area of the curve or just the 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 area you have shaded in is called the accumulation of change that represents the accumulation of change so let's make an example where you can use this you're on a road trip and you have a car on cruise control for 4 hours you travel at 60 miles an hour 60 miles per hour for these 4 hours how far have you traveled so we know that we have used con uh, cruise control for four hours. So that would be our maximum right here. Four hours is our, is our maximum. In order to find this out, we can use, if you're taking physics or things like that, we could just use times or like the velocity times time is equal to your distance. So we can do here a velocity, which is miles per hour, which is a distance divided by time, which is equal to velocity. And we also have our time. So time, since distance time over velocity over time is velocity, here, I'll just explain it better. Velocity times time is equal to something, d over t times t, t's cancel out, velocity times time equals to the distance. So all we have to do is multiply 60 times 4, and that would be equal to 240 uh, miles because it'll be uh, 60 miles per uh, miles per hour times four hours we have 240 miles that has happened that would be the area under the function the area under the curve the accumulation of change all of this distance all of this stuff is what has changed and this basically we can use we can further expand on this but this is basically the basics of this is the basics of integration and, and that so the units for area under the curve is the dependent unit multiplied by the independent unit or basically is the unit for y times the unit for x since if this came it would be distance over time per y times time you can see that the unit is actually just distance, which is equal to miles. And yeah, that's basically everything for 6.1 accumulation of change. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.